a man on the rise. South African swimmer Miles Brown is beginning to make waves. He won five gold medals at last year's African Championships. But 2012 was also a year of regret, having just missed out on Olympic qualification. I think it was a, a very big learning experience for me. Um, I learned that I unfortunately had to try and do it the hard way. I had to drop a lot of time at the last minute, which is not ideal. And I mean, yeah, unfortunately I missed it. But yeah, I just had to work hard, learn from it and uh, move on. Extra motivation, should Miles need it, comes in the form of his training partner, Chad Leclo, who came back from London 2012 with a gold and silver medal. Although Miles is full of respect for what Chad has done, their friendship is tested when the two compete in the 200 metres. Uh, yeah, look, I mean, we, we're friends outside of the pool um, and obviously in training, but then, I mean, you can't, you can't be too friendly on the race and say, so, or like, I'll let him win this one, maybe he'll let me win the next one. I mean, you, you're enemies when you get to the pool. So, I mean, that obviously gets put aside, but straight after the race is done, we're back to friends again. Later in the year, Miles will head to Barcelona for his first ever World Championships. Although Miles has high hopes for success, his coach Graham Hill has his eye on the long term. He's qualified now for World Champs. Uh, we're going to be looking at swimming the 400, 800 and 1500 there. And uh, we, we're hoping that he can maybe crack a final in one of the events. And, uh, and I think that'll be a good start to his uh, 2016 campaign. If all goes according to plan, Miles, for the first time, will compete against China's double Olympic gold medalist, Sun Yang, in Barcelona. For Miles, it's all about competing against the best now in order for him to win his own Olympic gold medal in Rio. For now, it's just trying to race him as much as, as we can, try and learn from him, uh, work our tactics, and then apply that to training and then obviously to the races. So, yeah, I've just got to, just got to keep racing him and then the big one at uh, Rio. Chad Leclo may be the face of African swimming for now, but don't be surprised if his training partner takes that mantle in 2016. Dan Williams, CCTV News, in Durban, South Africa.